Hi, I'm Max, and welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria Simulator. Um, I don't know what else to say. Anyway, let's just hop into it. Is there supposed to be music? Okay, no, it just didn't start yet. Yeah, there we go. Design pizza, heck yes. Pepperoni, sausage. Olive, sure, why not? Pepper, mm, no peppers. Onions, yeah, let's do some onions. That is a, that's a yummo pizza right there. Heck yeah. Oh, okay. How do I throw? Oh, shift. Okay, sweet. These aren't my pizzas. These are just pepperoni pizzas. You took everything off of them. That made them great. Yamos. Oh, who the heck are you? Oh, I got this. Oh, yeah. Alright, Shadow Freddy, you think you're taking these kids' pizzas? Oh, the heck? What is happening? No. Oh, no. What is... I'm... A... I'm Shadow... I was Shadow Freddy all along. No! I'm throwing Freddy's. The pizzas were Shadow Freddy's all along. <laughs> oh, it just crashed. Okay. Oh my! Hello there! Oh! Begin tape. Leaving dead space. Three. What's dead space? Two. One. The purpose of this tape is to test automated response times and reactions from vintage interactive attractions following audio stimuli. Okay. If you are playing this tape, that means that not only have you been checking outside at the end of every shift, as you were instructed to do, but also that you have found something that meets the criteria of your special obligations under paragraph four. Okay. Follow these instructions, document response times, then safely secure the space before leaving. Upon okay. sealing the room, you are not to return. Oh. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. Uh. Document results. Uh, no. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. Oh, I hate that. I hate everything about that. Document results. Begin audio prompt in three. Do you move? Two, one. Document results. Begin audio prompt in three. Two, what? One. No. Ah! I hate that. It's a new day. It's your time to shine. It's time to take your career into your own hands. You've saved money your whole life. Great. Now it's time to put all your eggs into one basket and take a huge gamble on your future. Okay. A gamble that comes with a 100% chance of success in some cases. <laughs> what are we talking about? We're talking about becoming a Fazbear Entertainment franchisee. That's right, restaurant ownership and management. Something almost anyone can do with a limited degree of success. Sure, it's a lot of money to invest, but everyone's doing it. And that means it's safe and lucrative. Nothing. With your initial investment, you'll receive everything you need to get started, including a small room, some tables, and electricity. But nice. don't forget about the money you had left over after buying your franchise package. Use it to decorate, buy a stage, buy attractions and animatronics, and much, much more. Nice. Now, let's take a look at a few things that will help you get started as a Fazbear Entertainment franchisee, such as 
Atmosphere. Making sure your establishment has an inviting atmosphere is essential to bringing in new customers. Entertainment. Jesus, so a real. Lot of entertainment value in your restaurant will ensure that customers come back. Yeah. Bonus revenue. Coin operated games and attractions can generate additional revenue during the day, which means more money in your pocket. Heck ready yeah. for reinvestment. Health and safety. There may be times when you purchase something of questionable quality, and we don't blame you. Cutting corners is just good business. <laughs> but there are steps you can take to ensure you don't get sued for it. I can that reduce us casualties. To liability. Being a thrifty shopper is smart, but be aware that buying things on sale comes with a certain amount of risk. Aside from the daily risk of lawsuits, there's also the risk that something might be hiding inside whatever you just purchased with that steeply discounted price tag. Oh boy. Of course, that would only be a serious danger if there were something outside that's been trying to get in for months now, which we are not confirming to be the case. <laughs> this concludes the amount of help we are ah! obligated to provide. Remember, you are now the face of the newly rebranded Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. I don't like how Wear he's that staring smile at with me. pride and let's make some money. Heck yeah. Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for disappearance, death, or dismemberment. <laughs> how to. A two step guide to restaurant management. Use catalog mode to purchase items, animatronics, and other supplies. Use blueprint mode to replace items, upgrade items, and upgrade your floor plan. Okay, I'm ready. Let's get started. Alrighty then. Let's see how much cash you had left over after purchasing your franchise package. Great, that should be more than enough. Okay. Now let's get started. On your left are your product catalogs. You can unlock more expensive catalogs by simply purchasing items for your pizzeria. Use the arrows in the bottom right of the item window to browse the products for each catalog. When you're finished shopping, click the button labeled Blueprint Mode to place your items. You can switch back and forth between Catalog Mode and Blueprint Mode as often as you like before opening your doors to the public. When you're ready to open your restaurant for business for the day, click the button labeled Finished in Blueprint Mode. Give it a try and do some shopping. Okay, so we've got Dumpster Diver Weekly. Unavailable? Do I have to buy a stage? Um... Okay, so we got a fan, a stage, nice. Um, first let's get a game. You know I gotta do it. Let's buy the single stage, because they're cheap. Alright. Bucket Bob, Mr. Can Do, Mr. Hugs, and you have liability risk. Also, how are you gonna hug anyone? Your arms, you don't have elbows. Or shoulders. Number one crate, heck yeah. Handstand. <laughs> Either pantstand or bucket bob. Paper pal, those aren't animatronics. We'll buy them anyway. Um, handstand or bucket bob. I'm gonna do bucket bob. Oh, I can buy something else. Uh, a fan discount cooling unit, heck yeah. And then anything that's five bucks here. Yeah, the. Ooh, stands budget tech. Heck yes. Nice. Let's see. We've got some nice stages. Happy Frog, Mr. Hippo, Ned Bear. Why does Ned Bear have liability risk? What's wrong with you? Pig Patch? Is that a battery? I think that's. Yeah, that's a battery. Candy Cadet? I hate. I already hate you. Looking at you. Alright, okay. Oh, there's our discount cooling unit. There's the paper pals. And here's Bucket Bob. I almost said pan, I almost said pan stand. So let's put that down. Can I clean it? I'd like to clean and polish. Oh no, safety straps. I want to get rid of that risk. I don't like that. There's a sponsorship offer. Funtime Pop Soda. Have a popping good time with Funtime Pop. This time Pop Inc. is offering to pay for advertising of the establishment. Two fifty. Yeah, I'm good. Let's play test. Okay. No! <laughs> oh, poor guy. Yes! Ooh. Round three. Woo! Heck yeah! 
Oh, okay, I got it. Heck yeah. No! No! <laughs> the neck cracked. <laughs> so good. So good. Okay, I'm gonna play testing. I have 10 play tokens, so I can just keep going. Come on! I never mind. Me. Ah! Me. Of course. <laughs> Can't get all five right. Okay. All right, catalog. Let's go to Midnight Motor. Is that one? I like that one even more. And then let's plop it down right here. And then play test. Ow! Ow! My ears! That's so loud. Why is that so loud? Let's see if I've still got it in me to, you know, do a half decent at this. Oh. No! You sack of crap! Yeah, you have to get like over 150 miles an hour. Miles an hour did. Start getting points! Oh gosh. Thread the needle. But Bam! That was bold. That's such bold. So like Oh, 250! 2,500! Yay! Yo, $200? Nice! What do I want? Deluxe speaker set? I'm tempted. I'm te very tempted. Ooh, neon stage light, 90. Can I get both? Oh, no. I know there was something that was 80 back here. Novelty traffic light? Sure. Why not? Wait, which one's the one that gets me re rev? Revenue. This is rev, and this entertainment. Which one's the one that gets me a bunch of money at the end of the day? <laughs> Am I retarded? Am I retarded? Hundo, nice. Let's see, fruity maze. I mean, how much money would that get me? An extra bonus rev. Sure. I don't want to play it though. I don't like fruity maze. Fruity maze is lame. Wait, entertainment is three. What's this one? Four. This one's the superior one. Okay. Let's play. I will get a perfect score. One of these days. That hurts my ears so bad. Yeah! Heck yeah! Okay, catalog. Let's see. I want. Ooh, this guy gives. Oh, tons of bonus red. Heck yeah, you're coming with me. This guy gives entertainment and atmosphere. Nice. I don't want any of these guys anyway. Uh, I don't want. Oh, you give tons of bonus. Oh, I can't afford you anyway. Okay. Where's the um, lights? I wanted those. Okay, give me those. Ooh, Smiles and Servos Incorporated. Ooh, I get a deluxe curtain stage. Get a deluxe concert stage. Ball pit tower 3 liability. Ladder tower 4 liability. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> do, 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 do. You just fall down. <laughs> Carnival? I want carnival hoops. Riding rockets. That's one light bill. Oh, I could get riding rockets. Got some decent bonus rev. Right? Fix it up a bit. Fruit punch clan. Ooh, neon jukebox is a fat. I can't. There's no way I can afford that. Uh, security doors. 
Rockstar Freddy. Rockstar, isn't that already a thing? Isn't Rockstar Freddy already a, a way? Isn't that in? I say already. Did they copy? No, glam rock. I'm stupid. Never mind. It's a different thing. All these guys have liability. That's not sketchy at all. Anyway, last play token. Let's get this. Hopefully, I can get enough to get at least something with bonus red. Please don't. Okay. Please don't trap me. Need to be weary of the traps. Oh gosh. Perfect run! I probably should have hung back just a little bit so I could get just those few extra points, but heck yes. Catalog. 400. I'm trying to get something for that. That's a lot of money. Nothing? Really? I couldn't even get that? This guy's, I don't want those guys. Okay, um, let's see. Anything in budget. Stan's budget tech. That gives bonus rip. That I also want. <laughs> Candy Cadet. Fine. And then, um, anything here that I could get? Oh, I could. Yes, buy this. Ooh. Oh, wait, that's too much. <laughs> Never mind. Um, um, let's get Pan Stand. Get the bros in here. Heck yeah. Got Pan Stan and Bucket Bob together. Oh yeah. Oh, that's it. That's all I can do. Okay. Finish, I guess. I I'm gonna have to do a lot of cutting. Your restaurant is now officially open. Awesome. That doesn't mean your job is finished, however. You have a lot of work to do while patrons eat their pizza in the other room. From your terminal, you have supplies to buy, papers to print, and repairs to make. Once you've taken care of all the items on your to-do list, you can log off for the day and get out of there. Money for supplies and repairs comes out of petty cash, so don't worry about it coming out of your pocket. We've got you covered. The only money you have to worry about is if you choose to upgrade any of the equipment in your office. Now, on to other matters. Something to be aware of is that the ventilation system and your terminal are pretty loud and may prevent you from hearing things in adjoining air vents. That won't be a problem if there is nothing in the vents. However, if you feel that something might be in the vents, you have a few tools at your disposal to protect yourself. You can shut off your terminal and the ventilation system at any time to decrease the amount of attention you are drawing to yourself. Also, shining your light directly into a vent will most likely prevent Did anything that. from jumping out. You also have three tools available from the terminal itself. There is a motion detector, an audio decoy, and a secondary ventilation unit. Keep in mind, however, that you can only have one of these active at any given time. Now get to it. Simply log off when you've completed your tasks for the day, and you can go get some coffee. I hate this. I have this headphone on. Am 
Am I going blind, or is there something there? No, there's nothing there. I'm just insane. But I still want the audio, so... I like these ones because they don't make any noise. Yes! Great job. It looks like you're getting okay. the hang of this. Now let's just focus on getting you through your first week. There's a big party here Saturday, and you should view that day as your ultimate test. Make it through Saturday, and you will have proven yourself as the successful entrepreneur that we all know you can be. Okay. Congratulations on completing your first day. However, your job isn't over just yet. There is another aspect to your end of day Hi. And that is inspecting and salvaging any animatronics found in the alley outside the back door. Things are found here quite often. And while we aren't sure why, what we do know is that they can be used for parts, which can mean a much needed revenue boost before starting your next day. Of course, as with everything else in this line of work, those benefits come with risk. The safest thing to do is to throw it back outside, but then you get no money for the salvage. Choose to keep it, and you run the risk of certain negative consequences, namely death, should the item in question not be as docile as it first appeared. If you do decide to try to salvage it, then you must complete the maintenance checklist. During this testing phase, check on the animatronic frequently, if you feel that it is becoming unstable, use the taser provided to you. You can use it three times without damaging the hardware. Every use over three, however, will decrease the item's salvage value. Before you is an animatronic found in the back alley. We are unsure of its origins. It is your job to complete the maintenance checklist before claiming it as salvage, or if you choose to, you can throw it back into the alley where you found it and forfeit payment. Please make your choice now. You have chosen to proceed with the maintenance dollars. checklist. Yeah. Remember, use your company issued taser to return the animatronic to a neutral state yeah, if you cool. feel that it's becoming unstable. For <gasps> a you can only use it three times before it begins to damage the animatronic. What the fuck is value. wrong with me? Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. Document results. Screw you! Begin audio prompt in three, two, Well, I'm one. hosed. Document results. Begin. What the flip? You can't just jump straight to the third stage. What's Audio wrong with you? In three, two. Also, wouldn't one. I want to damage the animatronic? <laughs> just continuously tase it so I can keep it without any of the risk, just till it's broken. Document results. Oh, sweet. 
Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. I don't like the blood on it, or like red lights. Uh, is that blood? I think that, that looks like blood. A little red. Document results. Begin audio Sick. prompt in three, two, one. this. Document results. You have completed the maintenance oh, okay. test and may proceed with the salvage. Well done. End tape. I, I didn't click it. I'm like, crap. Wait, do you not have to click anything? Oh my gosh, do you just not have to click anything? That'd be awesome. If you just flick it up and down and you don't have to do anything, that'd be sick. Or am I stupid and miss something? Yo! Total rev $997. That's not including the salvage, right? Oh, it was. Okay. Let's go. Where is it? This guy right here. This guy's gonna get me a crap ton of money. Uh, and now I have to play this. Okay. Okay. Rar. Okay. I should probably end the episode here. Nah, I'll play with the catalog a bit more, then I'll end the episode. Uh, got 300 bucks. Probably can't actually do anything with that. Uh, oh no, I can. Um, upgrade. Yes. I don't have anything to use, though. Okay. Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you for watching.